In this video, we will solve four problems in engineering economics under the topic annuity. For our problem number one, a design-build-operate engineering company that owns a sizable amount of land plans to lease the drilling rights, oil and gas only, to a mining and exploration company. The contract calls for the mining company to pay 1 million pesos per year for 20 years beginning 3 years from now, or that is beginning at the end of 3 years or year 3 and continuing through year 22, plus 500,000 pesos 6 years from now and 750,000 pesos 16 years from now. For letter A, determine the present worth in year 0 at 16% per year, and letter B, determine the future worth in year 22 at 16% per year. So we have here uh, two required. The first one will be the present worth in uh, year 0 and the future worth in year 22. Now let's solve the uh, letter A first. So if we uh, draw the cash flow diagram for this, So it says there that the uh, contract for this company calls for uh, payment of 1 million per year for 20 years and that is beginning 3 years from now or at the end of year 3. So if this is our year 0, 1, 2, 3, then this will be 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to. Okay, let's make it smaller. I'm supposed to cut it, but in order for uh, everyone to see just how many years there is, I'm going to show the full year just for the sake of the counting but you can actually cut this uh, diagram to save you from uh, the counting so 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and need to move this 17 18, 19, 20, 21, and let's make uh, the last one here, 22, 22, okay, so there will be 1 million pesos uh, cost every year starting the uh, end of year three so this is the year three so one two three count how many annuities there is so starting at the end of year three so this is our year three so we start our annuity here so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you have here 20 and with the, So let's. And this is per year 1 million pesos. So and with the of. 1 million pesos and that's actually uh, 20 so as you have uh, seen from our counting that is M and that is 20 so that's right here M 20 then there's another condition here that there is a plus 500 so here plus 500 
thousand six years from now and another seven hundred fifty thousand sixteen years from now now the question here is is this an annuity or is this a single payment that's actually a single payment and it's in six year the sixth year so this is here this is forty five hundred thousand pesos and for the uh, 750 that will be 16 years from now so this is the 16 years so let's put here 16 years and that is 750,000 pesos now how do we uh, how do we uh, solve the present word here so let's treat the uh, the uh, annuity first so this is actually a deferred annuity but you can choose whether you can uh, solve this by long method or by the formula of deferred annuity okay. so the treatment for the single payment here is that it will go uh, so uh, let's have the uh, annuity first so it's like this and where does it end it's ending at the year zero for this uh, series of uh, annual payments this is the year zero for our annuity therefore this is m20 this is our m20 and then from here if we get the value for present one we can now proceed to solve this by uh, compound interest and it will go here into the present that becomes our present 2. So remember we are solving for the present at year 0. Now how about the uh, single payment for the 500,000 pesos at year 6? So we will simply use compound interest and get the value for P3. The same is true with the 750K. So we will just use here compound interest and solve for P4. So number of years for P3 here. Oh, by the way, the number of years for uh, P2 now here is two years and then the p3 we have the number of years here as six years and then for p4 that will have 16 years so we can now solve for the value for uh, p2 solve for p2 so let's get the p1 first p1 here is annuity of 1 million <clears throat> so 1 plus how many percent it is 16 percent per year <clears throat> and how many <clears throat> number of annuity that will be 20 minus 1 over 1 plus 0.16 raised to 20.16 so this is 1 million times 1.16 raised to 20 minus 1 <coughs> So 1.16 raised to 20 times 0.16. So that would be 5,928,000. So 5,928,840.9. And from here, we can now solve for P2. That will be the future word divided by 1 plus 
i raised to n so future word here is the uh, p1 so we have there 5 million 928,840.9 all over 1 plus 0.16 raised to how many years that will be 2 years So, P2 now is equal to 528, uh, 928, 840.9 over 1.16 raised to 2. So, 4,406,000, 4,406,000, 94.6 or we can use here deferred annuity. Of P2, that will be a uh, 1 million. 1 plus 0.16 raised to how many annuity? We have here 20 minus 1. Divided by, for the uh, denominator, we have here 1 plus 0.16. And then here, you put here the number of years. Remember, for the deferred annuity, it has a different formula. So this is our formula for this one. That is P2 equals the A annuity 1 plus I raised to M minus 1 all over 1 plus I raised to N times I. So that's the formula for our deferred annuity. So what's now the ah by the way that will be a uh, twenty two twenty two times point sixteen. Sixteen raised to twenty minus one one point sixteen raised to twenty two times point sixteen. So the answer here is four million four zero six zero ninety four point six. Similar with this answer, so you can uh, use the uh, formula for deferred annuity or the long method. Next, we now have. To solve for the value of P3. So for P3, P3 is 500 K single payment and that will be compound interest. So 500 K divided by 1 plus point, uh, 16 raised to how many years? So it will be 6 years. 6 years. So what's now the value for that? So 500,000, 1.16 raised to 6. Oops. one16 raised to 6. So that is 205, 221.13. So 205,000, 221.13. 13. And for P4, we have there 750K over 1 plus 0.16 raised to how many years? That will be 16 years. 16. So this 68 the thousand nine seven hundred eighty point three nine six sixty eight seven hundred eighty point four therefore our total uh, present worth at year zero now is equal to P two plus P three plus P four. So how much is that? So our P2 is uh, 4,406,094.6 plus 
68, 780.4 that will be 68 so that is uh, 60 750k 1.16 raised to 16 or 769 so this is 69 okay so p2 is 4,406,094.6 plus 205 plus 69 780.4 so 6 uh, 4, 000, 4 million so that is 4 million 681,096.13 pesos so that's the present word now the next question here is the future word in year 22 at 16% per year. So here is our second solution, our letter B. So for our letter B, we'll use the same diagram. So let's just make a different color, let's say uh, orange. So what will happen here is that we are targeting here year 22. So our our single payment of 750k will become so at year 16. So this is the year 16 and then we will move here for our year 22 and then for our 500 And then for the annuity, our annuity will start at the year zero, of course, here. And how many annuity are there? There are 20 annuity, annual payment. Okay, so let's name this as the future one. This is the future 2 and then this is the future 3. For our future 1, we have here number of annuity M is equal to 20. There's no need to use deferred annuity there because it's not deferred. It started here at year 0. So just simply uh, use the uh, annuity formula. This then we have the F2 compound interest, the 500, up to 22. How many years will, uh, will it be? So, so that is 22 minus 6. So 22 minus 6, that will be 16 years. How about here for F3? That is 22 minus 16 and six years so how do we get to be sure why is it that we're not starting at year zero for this so remember the annuity will require it to have a starting point 
in order to complete one uh, uh, time for the payment of one annuity. So, in order to count it as one year. Now, whereas the 500K here covers a period of 16 years. So, how is it 16 years? So, if we count the uh, number of years from here as our year 0, this is actually our year 0 here, year 0 for 16 count how many years before it reaches from year 0 to 22 so that will be 1 2 3 4 uh, the spaces i'm actually checking the spaces 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so there's going to be 16 years for this payment to travel from year 0 up to 22 years now how about the 750k so the year zero for 750k is the 16th year and from this this 750k uh, payment will travel from zero to 22 and that is one two three four five six so it will travel six years up to the year 22 so I hope that is uh, clear between the difference of annuity and compound interest solution. So let's now proceed to the uh, solution. So for the F1, for F1 annuity, that is 1 million. So annuity formula, future worth of annuity. So 1 plus 0.16 raised to 20 annuity divided by the denominator there is 0.16 so 1 million times 1.16 raised to 20 minus 1 then 0.16 so that is 115 115 million 379,746 so 115 379 746.58 next we have the F2 F2 for the uh, 500k number of years is 16 years so 500k all over 1 plus 0.16 raised to 16 years so 1.16 raised to 16 so forty six thousand five hundred twenty. Oh, by the way, the formula is incorrect. So, the formula for future worth in compound interest is actually F equal to p 1 plus i raised to n so f now here f2 uh, that will be present worth of 500 k so the formula i used a while ago is actually for the uh, present worth so 1 plus 0.16 raised to 16 so the difference here is that since the presence of the interest rate here if future worth is greater than the present that's why i was surprised by the uh, answer that we got a while ago so 500,000 times 1.16 raise to 16 so 5 million uh, 374 002 5 million 
307400 2.1 and lastly we have our f3 our f3 here is 750k with n equal 6 years oops so f3 that will be a 750k 1 plus 0 0.16 raised to 6 so 1 million 287,297.24 so for the uh, total oops this is actually here okay. so for the uh, f total now or the, the f22 is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 and that is equal to One one five million three seven nine seven four six point fifty eight plus five million three seven four zero zero two point one plus one million eight seven eight twenty seven two nine seven point twenty four. So the total now here is one hundred twenty two million five hundred eighty one zero forty five point ninety two. So one twenty two five eight one zero forty five point ninety two. So that is for our problem number one. Let's go to the problem number two. The offshore design group at a company just purchased upgraded CAD software for 250,000 pesos now and annual payments of 25,000 pesos per year for six years starting three years from now beginning at the end of year three for annual upgrades what is the present worth in year zero of the payments if the interest rate is eight percent per year so a company uh, just purchase a software for 250,000 pesos so this uh, 250k here is actually the P present worth at or the payment at year zero already. Or payment at the start. Mm, well, if we just draw the cash flow diagram for this, how many years? Uh, six years. This is year zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the two hundred fifty thousand is paid now. So it's already in the now. k and annual payments of 25k per year for six years starting three years from now so beginning at the end of year three so this is the year three so this is for the annuity two three there are four so there are four 
annuity or annual payments. So if the payment started here at the end of year 3, so where is the year 0 of this annuity? So the year 0 of this annuity is here at year 2. So year 0 of annuity. Okay, so it's asking for the present word in year zero. So what will we do here is we will solve for the deferred annuity here. So this is our P1 up to the year zero. And uh, oh, by the way, our annuity here is 25K. Then the number of annuity M is equal to 4. And then from here, from this P1, we will uh, again project up to the present. Here is the present. And this is our year 0 for this entire transaction. So this is our P2. Therefore, our present word in year 0 is 250k plus P2. So, let's solve for the value of P1. P1 is equal to 25k. Uh, how many percent? 8 percent. So, that is 1 plus 0 0.08 year raised to how many... Uh, Oh, so for six years okay so from the problem it says here the 25k per year for six years so it's not on the year six okay so it should be underline this is 7 and this is 8 it says there is 6 payments 6 annual payments so there is a need to extend this and this so the annual payment is actually 6 So, here in our solution now, it is raised to 6, minus 1, all over 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 6 times 0 0.08. So, what's the value for P1? P1 is 25K, 1.08 raised to 6. Minus 1, 1 1.08 raised to 6 times 0 0.08. Hmm. Ah, there should be 1. So 115571.99. One, one, five, five, one so that is 115571.99. For P1. Next, for our P2, that will be compound interest formula. Future here is 115. Then put here number of years, 2 years. Okay, so 115, 571.99 divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 2. So, 115, 571.99 5, 
571.99 over 1.08 raised to 2. So that is 99,084. 99,084.35. So we're P0 now. Present worth at year 0 is equal to. Oh, by the way, before we proceed that, let's show the other solution. The deferred annuity formula. Or, so this is our P2. That will be 25K. Ah, 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 6 minus 1. Remember this, uh, this is the number of annuity or annual payments divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to the power of 8. Now, this one here is the number of years from here up to the year 0. So, that is 8 years times 0 0.08. So, what is the P2? 25K. 1.08 raised to 6 minus 1 over 1.08 raised to 8 times 0 0.08. Hmm. So 99084, same. So 99084.35. So same with this one. So you can actually use this formula. Therefore, we now have our P at year 0 as P1, or should I say P2, P2 of course, that is P2 plus 250K, that is equal to 99084, or just simply type in the uh, calculator plus 250k so that is 349084.35 pesos so that's for problem number two Let's proceed to our problem number three. Recalibration of sensitive measuring devices costs 400,000 pesos per year, so annual payment. If the machine will be recalibrated for each of six years starting three years after purchase, calculate the present worth in year zero of the payments if the interest rate is 16% per year so starting three years so at the end of year three so what does it mean by the machine will be recal recalibrated for each of six years if this is 400,000 pesos per year then in how many years it will take six years so each year it will be recalibrated so there's a total of six years starting uh, three years from now so looking at this cash flow diagram this is year zero and it says there that the uh, machine will be recalibrated for six years For six years that would be starting three years and that is at the end of year three so one two three so the recalibration starts here at year at the end of year three and this is four five so it's one two three four five six now we now have the six annual payment here so 
So calculate the present worth if the interest rate is 16% per year. So this is now our year zero here. This is the end. The uh, eight years actually the end of the six uh, annual payment of how much? Annual payment of four hundred thousand pesos, four hundred k. So this is now our year zero. We'll point it up to here. So this is the difference with annuity and the uh, fixed payment for compound interest. In order to have a uh, to fulfill <coughs> the annual payment, <coughs> since we are dealing with ordinary annuity here, so we need to <coughs> have here the year zero okay so i have mistakenly uh, encircled three here the year zero for annuity here is year two okay so this is the zero year for the annuity unless the problem tells you that it's an annuity due therefore you can have the first payment here at the zero year but since it's not mentioned in the problem, so we can assume that this is an ordinary annuity. Oh, by the way, it's, it's mentioned here in the parentheses. So beginning at the end of year 3. <clears throat> now, we now have our P1. Next, we have our P2. So here we have M is equal to 6 annual payments and this is N is equal to 2 years. So we have our P1, 400K. That is 1 plus 0.16 raised to 6 minus 1. All over 1 plus 0.16 raised to 6 minus, uh, times. 0.16 so where p1 is so 1,473,000 eight nine four point thirty six and then using the uh, compound interest formula the future is one four seven three eight nine four point thirty six divided by one plus point sixteen raised to two so what's the value here so answer all over 1.16 squared so 1 million 0 0.95 343.61 and we're being asked the uh, present word in year 0 this P2 is actually the P0. So that's for number 3. Or, when we use deferred annuity formula, of course, let's show the deferred annuity formula. PO now is equal to 400K. 1 plus 0.16 raised to 6, the number of annual payments divided by 1 plus 0.16 raised to the number of years so 
So we now have here 400,000 times 1.16 raised to 6 minus 1 all over 1.16 raised to 8 times 0 0.16. So again, same, same answer. 1 million zero ninety five thousand three four three point sixty one so that's for year zero so that's for number three now for our last problem in this video this is problem number four. An enthusiastic new engineering graduate plans to start a consulting firm by borrowing 5 million pesos at 10% per year interest. What is the loan payment each year to pay off the loan in 7 years? So, loan payment says here each year. So, it's asking for the annual payment of the loan in seven years so borrowing five million pesos so five million pesos here is the present worth given the interest rate of 10 percent so let's uh, solve how many or how much is the payment each year so having the formula for present worth of annuity we have here the present five million the annual payment required then one plus the percent the ten percent per year how many years or so for seven years there will be seven payment for annuity divided by so one plus point one raised to seven point one so annual payment now is equal to so five million alpha equals so alpha x one point one raised to seven minus one all over one point one raised to seven times point one so shift solve one million twenty seven so one million twenty seven thousand twenty seven point five so that's the answer or there's another way to answer this in order to uh to be sure so you will want to know what will be the uh, the loan that the uh, engineering graduate will pay in seven years so what will be the future amount using the compound interest formula f is equal to p 1 plus i is to n what will be the future amount in seven years with this uh, principal amount five million and the interest rate is ten percent so f7 is equal to 5 million times 1.1 1 .1 raised to 7 that will be 9 oops 9 million 743,585.5 and using this uh, future word we will use the future word formula so nine million seven four three five eight five point five equals annuity so annual payment question mark and one plus point one raised to seven minus one all over point one so present word up uh, future word of annuity so what is a a now is equal to nine seven four three five eight five point five alpha equals alpha x 
1.1 raised to 7 minus 1 times 0.1. So shift solve. minus 1. Okay, so shift solve here. There you go. The annual uh, payment here is 1 million 27.5. So same answer. So whatever method you will use, you will still arrive in the same answer. So that's for problem number four okay so that's all for this uh, video